Okay, uh, welcome back, guys. So, uh, let's keep working on this. So, uh, I'm going to create a new layer for this because I want to be adding skin pores for the head. A skin pores bit for the head. So, let me scroll down and just change this to head. Uh, head. We probably add pause base, add skin pause. Okay, add pause should be better. Base, enter. Okay, so we're going to be focusing on just the head. And when we're going to be working on this geometry mode for now because we just want to create a base head. We want to create a base skin pause detail for the head. So let me kind of max out on the region where I'll need this skin post to be. And after I'm done, I'm going to invert that selection and blow this out. Now, this is to blow that because I do have some skin post detail around here already. I don't want the skin post to be applying on top of the one we already had before, at least not, not that much. So let me kind of get this kind of work on this again to kind of get this correctly. I'll just mark this, I'll mark that very close to the skin pore details. And I'll blow this out. Uh, this, this is bleeding. It's still bleeding too close to, it's still, it's still bleeding too close to where they are initial former skin pores are in already. I think I'll need to do this on a on a bit a bit of an higher subdivision level, probably sub subdivision 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 level two or three. Yeah, this is better now. So on subdivision level three, this is better now. So I just blow it blow this out. So that's fine. I'm still going to be using the same skin pore tie label skin pore details that we used initially for this. I'm still going to be using the same one. So surface you should memorize the one that was already there before. And I can just go in and then change the alpha scale and the strength and then just apply this to mesh. So I'm just gonna so figure out a value that works best for this. This is just way too much. Let me take down the strengths a bit more just to have this blended back into the skin. So I can so I can actually have a better view to kind of size this up properly. Okay, you got a better view on this. Just trying to figure out the right scale for this. Maybe something like this should be fine. Let me just get a closer view on this. But now I'm supposed to be maxing out some parts that I don't need. So let me use the pen, max pen. I max out the parts I don't need too much of the skin pore detail, or I don't even need it at all. So for the eyes, let me kind of do a light maxing around that. So I don't need it. I don't need this to be affecting too much of the eyes. So I just mark that lightly. Do light maxing in there. So for the nose also, I just do a random touch, like patches of patches of maxing around this. Okay. For the inner part of the nose, I'm going to max that out completely. So it's a more, I'll go more intense with the, with the pen pressure and kind of max out that really well. Same also with the lips, I'll max out, I'll max all of this out really well. I don't want to be affecting the lip that much. I'm going to max that out really well. Okay.
So I'm going to do some kind of light matching also for the years. Let's do some light maxing. So now let me just take down, take up the intensity for this. Click OK. Now apply this to mesh. So this is what we have now. So we just apply to the mesh. This is what we have. Something like this. This is not bad at all. You can actually work with this. Uh, maybe I won't maybe I will do that. I kind of max out some part that I don't need the skin post to be affecting too much. Like for the other part of the eyes, let me kind of max that out. So I won't do that. Just bring everything back before the before I apply it to before I apply it to the mesh and just max this out. I'm not gonna apply this to the mesh. So we have, let me just, let me just see, turn this off. Yeah, this seems fine. Seems fine. I think I can start. So this, this is good enough actually. Let's see, I can also play with the intensity for this if I want to. Let me create a new layer. And for this, this will just be the XYZ skin pose. Because I'm going to be using the 175 skin alpha pack for me texture in XYZ. It's going to do the extra layer of skin pose detail on top of this. So I'm going to show you guys. Actually, I'm going to show you guys how to use that 175 skin alpha. I'll show you guys how to use, how to use them correctly. But well, before we do that, we need to kind of go to. We need to work on HD geometry mode for this, at least for the head. So let me just kind of get this to just kind of solo out the head, so I can work on mostly the head. So I have more resolution when we're applying the 175 skin now on the model. So I have more polygons to work with and get the more sharper results from it. So I did that wrong. So I need to do this again. I'll put the mouse cursor closer to the neck and I'll click hit A on the keyboard. Okay, this is fine. This is fine. We can work with this. Okay. Let me just get a closer view on this. Then we can start working on it. By dragging out alphas on top of this. Let me show you guys the. I think. Let me show you guys the. Let me show you guys the alpha that I'll be using. So, I'm using the female face. Twenty O one. So let me just kind of bring this to the view and show you guys how it looks like. So if I just kind of zoom into this, you see that each region of the face has a particular circle around it with a number. So that represents the region of the that the region of the alpha map. So each alpha map has a number, and those number corresponds to the various region and section of this of this face, of this flattened out face. Okay. So based on the corresponding number, we're going to be using that on top of our 3D model also. Okay. 
Okay. So I'm going to get a closer view on this. So I think we're going to be starting with the we're going to starting with the center of the face. We're going to be starting with the alpha. Starting with the alpha four for this. So I'm going to go to my light box and kind of pick out that alpha to kind of use on this. So it should be on drag rectangle. There, let me make sure auto max in back fix max back fix maxing is turned off. Okay. So I'm just gonna go for the that folder, look for the folder for this. So it should be this one. Okay, so let me just look for the corresponding number of the which is the alpha alpha four. Let me try by dragging this out. Let me see. Here, yeah, which is the script on the top. Read that page to be on 10. Read value to be on 45. Then I'll turn off symmetry for this. I'm going to drag this out. Uh, this looks too sharp. It's kind of eating too much into the mesh. I don't want this. There are too much, many movies in there. I don't, I don't, I don't want to get on to the movie. You should be going to the mesh. I might just have to use another a different alpha for this. So I'll let me just stop this here. I'll see you guys in the next lesson. I'm going to use a different alpha to kind of make this work. So bye for now.